Hello one and all. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is biomedical application of graphene. We know that graphene is a single layer of carbon atom that tightly bounded in a hexagonal honeycomb lattices. It is an allotrope of carbon in the form of a plane of sp2 bonded atoms with a molecular bond length of 0.142 nanometers. Graphene is obtained from graphene oxide by removing the oxygen containing functional group via simple chemical or thermal reduction. Basically, this graphene synthesis is categorized into two types. One is top-down approach, another is bottom-up approach. In top-down approach, uh, uses chemical ablation, electrochemical oxidation, or plasma treatment to cut down larger graphene sheet into smaller pieces. In bottom-up method, which involve building up a large graphene sheet from the simple carbon precursors. So in this tutorial, I will explain in detail about uh, biomedical application of graphene. So the biomedical application of graphene is a fascinating area that is beyond our imagination because uh, the important properties of graphene oxide that support its clinical use uses uh, which are like amp uh, amphiphilicity, surface functionality, fluorescence quenching ability and the surface enhanced diamond scattering property. And the hydrophobic nature and large surface area ripples and grain boundaries on defective site of graphenes. These are the important factors when considering them for biomedical application. So the first one is uh, graphene substrate for photothermal therapy and photodynamic therapy. Basically, photothermal therapy is considered as a minimally invasive and high efficient method for cancer treatment. In photothermal therapy utilizes photothermal agent which convert light into heat by uh, non-radiative decay under laser irradi irradiation. So when uh, and when the excited molecule come to ground state, they release the energy in the form of heat. Um, that causes the thermal ablation of the cancer. So there are a uh, number of uh, nanomaterial with NIR absorbance are highly uh, recommended for the photothermal therapy uh, to avoid the interference from the biological tissues. So this graphene oxides also provide effective uh, photothermal therapy in in vivo. Uh, because the high surface area and the NIR absorbance. So due to the high surface area, it can able to uh, load uh, efficient drug loading capacity and conjugation of the ligand molecule to achieve the targeted and enhanced uh, therapeutic potential. And uh, the biofunctionalization of graphene with the uh, biomolecules such as PEG and FBS which improve its biocompatibility uh, and enhances its uh, photothermal efficiency. And uh, in addition to that, certain fluorescent slide dye molecules such as endocyanin uh, green or uh, quantum dots that can be conjugated on the graphene to achieve the image guided photothermal therapy. Next is the photodynamic therapy. So uh, basically this photothermal dynamic therapy is a novel treatment for cancer uh, which combines the photosensitizer mediated targeted killing. So upon light activation the photosensitizer molecule get excited and induce the formation of reactive oxygen species that causes irreversible damage to cancer cell. So a group of researchers, they have uh, used graphene oxide for treating the uh, cancer cells via this photodynamic therapy. So they uh, loaded the photosensitizer onto the folic acid conjugated graphene oxide via hydrophobic and pi pi stacking and which shows an effective killing of MGC803 cancer cells under 
radiation. Next is graphene substrate as a biosensor. So graphene ha has attractive application in the development of electrochemical sensor and biosensor because of its excellent uh, electrical conductivity, large surface area and high electron transfer potential. Graphene based field defect transistor biosensor have been developed to detect the biomolecules such as nucleic acid, proteins and growth factors which monitor the changes in electrical signals. So the developing graphene based biosensor which relies on the fluorescence quenching properties of the graphene. So a group of researchers they detect uh, nucleic acid by tagging the graphene oxide with the fluorescent labeled SSDNA. So this graphene oxide uh, quenches the fluorescence of the SSDNA. So this SSDNA form a double helical structure when it come into contact with the targeted complementary sequence and the formation of double helix uh, displays this graphene oxide from an SSDNA strand resulting in a fluorescent recovery. And graphene based biosensor uh, also used for the detection of pathogen. So another group of researchers they demonstrated a nano electronic biosensor for the detection of E. coli. So this uh, they use this CVD graph ground graphene film uh, that functionalized with the anti uh, E. coli antibodies and was uh, that was passivated using the twin 20. So this graphene biosensor can detect the E. coli with high specificity and the selectivity. And the conductance of the graphene sensor increases with the increased number of the E. coli attached on the graphene sheet. Next is bioimaging application of graphene oxides. Graphene oxide possess strong absorbance and fluorescence properties in the NIR region. So because of this, uh, this is used for the bioimaging tool. The fluorescence can be induced in the graphene oxide by manipulating the uh, synthesis conditions such as pH, rate of reduction and size. The presence of functional group on the side of planar graphene can be conjugated with the fluorescence dyes uh, that will enhance the bioimaging properties. So this graphene oxide and graphene we can use for uh, different bioimaging uh, applications such as MRI imaging, uh, PET SPECT, optical imaging, uh, multi-model imaging, CT and X-rays. So in this uh, compared to the conventional fluorescent probe uh, such as quantum dots, Graphene quantum dot possesses high stability, excellent biocompatibility, good uh, solubility and low cytotoxicity. Uh, so because of this, uh, this graphene based uh, material we can use it for both in vitro and in vivo Im imaging. And this graphene oxide uh, like uh, quantum dots also exhibit upconversion fluorescence uh, which reduce the interference from the autofluorescence. And this graphene based nanomaterial were actively explored for the optical imaging, uh, mainly in the fluorescence imaging uh, and two photon fluorescence imaging. The nanoparticle uh, containing electron dense element with a high atomic number that combine with uh, graphene oxide that we can use for the X-ray and CT imaging. 